Hello everyone. Today is Monday, January 4th, 2020. And I usually film these on Sunday, but I took a day of rest yesterday. So I'm running a little behind. So first of all, I haven't shown you these birds in their entirety for a while and they have been sad about that. So here you go. Yes, my husband gave me these for my birthday last year. And then we have the pelican and the flamingo and I'm quite fond of these guys. So they are going to be my background for today's video. At least their feet will be. So I am so glad to um, be starting the new year because 2020, as we know, left a bit to be desired. Um, and I have some empties to share with you today. And I'm also going to be starting a new series on Wednesday, which is going to be Wax Warm Up Wednesday. So I'll do one particular vendor each week and share with you some thoughts on them uh, as warmed. So this Wednesday I'll be doing Destination Wax. So for today let's jump into these videos. I had a wonderful week of melting and um, I'm going to start with Scentsy and these are ones that I, I finished. So I'm not going to share all the ones that I started because there's just a lot and then you're going to have to hear about them every week which might get might get monotonous for you. So first of all I finished Apple Cherry Strudel this is absolutely scrumptious and this was it's self-explanatory but the thing I like is you really get that strudel pastry note it's luscious and the apple and cherry are nicely balanced so I will purchase that again beautiful I love it next up we have oh I love this one it is in my club which is apple s'mores and as you know that name is very misleading it really has nothing to do with a s'more um, this is more like marshmallow apple woods or marshmallow apple cedar. Those are the notes. I love this so much. It is um, a beautiful woody, slightly sweet note and a cousin to cedar cider. <clears throat> I wish I could get these to stand up, but I don't think that will happen. Next up, I finished a walnut raisin muffin. And I might have mentioned that on here before. I really like this. The juicy raisin, you do get the nutty walnut and the, um, the muffin note. So all of them are present, well balanced. And this one lasts forever. Really enjoyed it. I liked all of these. This, these were good. That's why I finished them, right? This one is especially beautiful, which is winterberry apple tea. That's cranberry apple tea and honey. And I guess this is a big fan favorite and I can certainly see why. So this is also in my club and I greatly enjoy that. It's The spicing is just perfect. You have the dark berries and the cranberry mixed together. The tea is kind of in the background and sweetened by the honey. I love that. Winterberry apple tea. And finally, I have finished Squeeze the Day, and you can see my note there, Needed Cleaner Lemon. I had been melting so many fir trees and heavy bakery and cookie notes and all the Christmas um, cranberry and I just needed a break so I opened the windows I cleaned very well and then I put this on so it's it is a to me a cleaner lemon it's not like cutting into a fresh lemon but I like it very much it's a it's a good strong lemon scent and that's just what I needed to to cure my ailment after all those heavy holiday scents so if you need to clean the air that's a good one so those were my scentsies that I finished for the week Next up, I have a number of samples from the bathing garden, and thank you, Shannon, because I had ordered, I had placed a holiday order of about eight clamshells from Shannon for her holiday scents, which I love, and she sent me a whole bag of samples because she is very generous, and I have been enjoying them, and I will share them with you now. So first off was Circus Bread. and this is fruitcake, strawberry, and vanilla, and I also had a um, a sample last summer of the sugar scrub in this and I enjoyed it very much medium throw and the strawberry mixes nicely with the fruit cake so I enjoyed that circus bread next was elf sweat and I guess those elves eat a lot of candy because this is a very sweet I always enjoy this candy candy canes candy corn syrup and fizzy pops so you get all that it's a very creamy sweet slightly effervescent note and it just cracks me up because I think of all the little elves sweating and the smelling so sweet that's elf sweat from again the bathing garden next up was crystallized spearmint and peppermint so it's a beautiful mint blend self-explanatory this one was a high throw enjoyed it I love mint and that was a beautiful 
example of her mint blends. Next up was pink marshmallow cola cake at medium throw. And this surprised me because I'm not a real big cola in fan in wax, but this was so nice. Um, the cola faded and became kind of a complimentary note after about an hour, and they got more of the pink marshmallow. This was beautiful. Lasted all day into the evening, medium throw. <clears throat> Excuse me. And finally, my favorite of these was the contortionist. I don't think I'd ever smelled this before. Medium throw. This is green tea, ginger, cherry blossom, and clotted cream. So it's like a creamy green tea with that little bit spicy ginger note and a slightly floral note from the cherry blossom. Very unusual. I love this and I would like to buy more of it in a clamshell. Medium throw. So that was the contortionist from the bathing garden. All right, next up, I got a sampler. You know, I'm a sucker for a good sampler. So there was a collaborative sampler of sugar cookie um, blends between the scented squirrel and a vendor, a new to me vendor called the Little Olive Tree. And I have been enjoying this tremendously. So first of all, from the scented squirrel um, was cereal marshmallow bar and frosted sugar cookies. Very pleasant bakery, medium high throw. I like that one. And then the next three are all from the little olive tree, and I have two left from the scented squirrel yet to melt. This one was gingerbread latte and sugar cookie dough. Really enjoyed this. A high throw, and what I liked about this was the blend between the gingerbread and the coffee. Um, gingerbread can sometimes, you know, be a very strong scent. If you if you aren't a fan, it can take over. But this was blended so well with the coffee. I love this, and a long-lasting uh, melt. So again, from the little olive tree. Then others from that um, sampler were Appleberry Spice Vanilla Bean Noel and Sugar Cookie, also a very beautiful blend. This one was not long lasting, unfortunately, medium high throw, but I enjoyed it very much. I just wish it had lasted a little longer. And lastly from her, this one I enjoyed, it was very different. Eggnog, strawberry white cake, and frosted sugar cookie. So when I saw that, I thought, oh boy, I don't know, eggnog and strawberry, but you'd be surprised, that's a nice blend. And the eggnog was not boozy, it was just very creamy and eggy. And with the strawberry, it was a great blend. So I don't know that I'd ever smelled that together. Enjoyed it very much. And then finally, a sample with that from... Um, the scented squirrel was, and let's see if I can read this, hot cocoa and vanilla ice cream. So that was a sample and I enjoyed that. It was very representative of hot cocoa, like the powdered hot cocoa, and then the vanilla ice cream notes. So I liked that. This was not long lasting, but it was beautiful and I would buy it again just because it was so beautiful. So I will keep that one aside because it was a favorite and I'll talk about it at the end. Okay, next up from the Up the Creek um, Scents, which is a favorite vendor of mine, I had a number of little scent shot cups, so I will talk through these. So first was Monkey Farts, and I, I think this is an oil in itself, because I've gotten that from many vendors. Uh, in this case, medium high throw, it was a nice tropical scent. I didn't get as much banana as I do from some of the other vendors, so I don't know if she made her own blend up. <coughs> Sorry. But I, while I liked it, I, I prefer it with a little more banana. Um, next up was Pink Butter Cookie Noel, and this was great. So you had Pink Sugar Butter Cookie and BBN, and this was Medium High Throw, very nice. And I enjoyed the Pink Sugar with the Butter Cookie. Um, sometimes Pink Sugar is overly sweet. That was not the case here, beautiful blend. Next up was French Lavender and Honey, which I have enjoyed from other vendors. For whatever reason, I didn't like this particular blend. Uh, it just had an off note for me, but that just might be my nose. Next up, I love this one. This is Zucchini Jelly Donut Sugar Cookie. Her zucchini is just completely wonderful, and with the jelly donut and sugar cookie, so very bakery, uh, slightly savory with the zucchini bread, and I love that one. Another zucchini blend from her was sugared winterberry zucchini bread, and I like that too because I like any berry, and against the savory zucchini bread note, it was a really, really pleasant brand and blend, and I would get that again. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Next up was April Fresh Downy, and this was absolutely representative of the downy that I use in the wash. Um, high throw, long-lasting, beautiful. I love that scent. 
and this lasted forever, so very nice. And finally, this was a sample, and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, cherry chip cupcakes. So I'm normal. I'm not always a fan of cherry. I'm not always a fan of chocolate, but together this really worked. Neither one was overpowering, so you had a nice cherry chocolate, and then with the bakery uh, cupcake note, high throw, and I would get that again. So I continue to enjoy Up the Creek scents. Next up, I have a few samples from um, Sweet Sage scents, and these were all Christmas. Actually, this was from a sampler, a Christmas sampler that I got from her. Again, always a sucker for a good sampler. Um, this was Christmas tree at the donut shop. Uh, so it was Christmas tree, jelly donut, and powdered donut. So I liked it, high throw. I will say Sweet Sage scents, always high throw. Um, predominantly the tree note here, I liked it. Next was Hibernate, and this is lavender, uh, juniper berry, cedar, and pugs on ice. I'm not sure what pugs on ice. Oh, she has a pug dog, so some of the scent names include her pug, which is really cute. I can say this was a, a nice combination. I really like the lavender and the, jubin, the juniper together, and it was a high throw. <clears throat> Next up was uh, pumpkin pecan waffle and warm vanilla nutmeg. Wow, this was a powerhouse. Herb and wax is strong anyway from Sweet Stage Scents. And you know, pumpkin pecan waffle is a very strong oil. So wow, this carried through the whole house and it was a tiny little gingerbread man. Um, but it was very nice. Um, personally, I'm not a real big fan of pumpkin pecan waffle, um, but it was a great blend. It lasted forever and it was enormously strong. So these were all um, very powerful scents from Sweet Sage Scents. And she uses a lot of mica, which makes for a beautiful wax pool. Also a little bit difficult to clean up, but it really is pretty when it's melting. So I have a few um, one-offs here. So I will be melting more of the Burning Mitten, and this was a sample which came with it. This was um, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. So a beautiful sp um, spice mix medium high throw, and the ginger was so nice in this, it was noteworthy without um, blowing you away. So I enjoyed that very much from the Burning Mitten. Next, a sample from Empire Alchemy, and I'm getting ready to, to uh, melt more of her wax as well. I've been letting a number of things cure. This was ice cream cake, <laughs> ice cream cake. So Neapolitan ice cream, blueberry confetti cake, and dried tobacco. So I can't say I really picked up the tobacco. Predominantly, I got the uh, the Neapolitan ice cream. So the chocolate note really came through and the creaminess of the ice cream. I had had this before and I enjoyed it very much. Medium throw. From Rose Girls, I melted Palo Santo, vanilla sandalwood, and Fraser fir. And this was a high throw. Um, it lasted a long time. Just a really strong fir tree scent. And by the time I melted this, I was growing a bit weary of fir tree. Didn't get as much Palo Santo as I might have liked. However, beautiful blend, and it lasted a long time. And finally, from Vintage Road Candles, one of my favorite blends from her, and this was Strawberry Lemonade. Again, I just wanted something to change up from all the fur tree scents. So um, Sarah told me that this was one of her original blends that she made when she started making wax, and it continues to be a beautiful blend to this day. So I will always continue to buy from Vintage Road Candles. I get a great throw in my home, and she has some lovely scents. So that is it for the week. My two favorites this week. I always like to tell you my favorites. So first of all, the Contortionist, which was the ginger and uh, green tea uh, blend from the bathing garden, and also from the little olive tree. So a new new vendor for me, and this was the gingerbread latte sugar cookie dough. Beautiful blend. So those two were my favorites for the week. So that's it for now, folks, and I hope you all have a great start to your new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Please stay safe and stay well, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next one. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.